Hello, everybody. Andrew Majewski here with Epicure. So who's excited about Epicure USA coming tomorrow? Honestly, I have been waiting for this for months when they first announced it. And then it's, it's August the 19th today, and it just sort of hit me like, oh, yeah, it's coming tomorrow. Oh, my goodness. I thought about it two weeks ago, and I'm thinking, is it almost August? Like, come on, right? Like, hurry up. Is it, is it almost August 20th? And then today, I'm like, oh, my God, it's August 20th tomorrow. So I'm excited. You're excited. This is such an exciting thing. Um, I, I had actually attended a new um, product launch here in Canada yesterday, and it was just so exciting to be able to talk to people who also love Epicure, who have been making money, um, sharing their love of like healthy um, healthy eating, clean eating, um, not having to eat out. Just It's just exciting. So hopefully you are all as excited as I am. But um, we actually talked about something at the product launch yesterday, and I thought that I would talk about it with all of you too. So what we um, talked about was um, common things that people will say. So common challenges that people will tell you and you have to come up with a way to sell Epicure basically. So you're selling them the idea of hosting a cooking class or the, the idea of purchasing the meal kits to make their life easier. So I'm just going to share a few scenarios with you and you will likely come across this when you start hosting your, your, your own cooking classes, when you start just talking to people about Epicure. So things that people will say and it's just kind of helpful to know what to say back. So one of the most common things is, is Let's just say you're talking to somebody about hosting a cooking class, whether it be you're just talking to your, 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 your mom, your coworker, just somebody you had just met, you know, well, why don't you host a cooking class where you can get free Epicure products? Um, the most common thing that people will say is I don't have time. They might not have time to even talk to you about it. They might not have time to just host their own cooking class. So what you can tell them is, you know, you know, it will only take two hours. I come over, I do everything, I cook, I tidy up, everything. You don't have to do a thing. And it's a, a chance to see your coworkers, your mom, sister, you know, people who you might not see after work or people who you haven't seen in a long time. Bring people over. We, we um, cook, we we laugh, we have fun, and they will learn some cooking tips. They will learn how to cook at home, you know, quicker, easier. And everybody loves a cooking class because people love to eat. So they might still say to you, yeah, well, I, I like literally work 10 hours a day every day. I just don't have time. Well, they have to take time off, right? There has to be a time off somewhere. So let them know. You can do, you know, evenings, weekends, mornings even, if that works for them. And, you know, hopefully that will work for you too. But let them know that you are just happy to help them. If they still tell you that they just don't have time, what you could do is do a cooking class online. Yes, this may seem un uncomfortable for you, but it's actually even easier because you would be cooking from your home obviously. You would be having like a webcam type of thing like I'm doing now, and then you would be cooking something, but then you would also be um, sharing with them too. So there's a couple ways to, to do this. What I like to do is, um, which I should actually talk about this more a little bit later or in another video, so I'll just kind of do it quickly because I could talk about online cooking classes all day long. So you would host an online cooking class event um, on, on Facebook. So not on like Instagram, but on Facebook. And your, your, your host would invite people to that um, event. And then you would post about Epicure, usually about four posts a day, sometimes more, um, leading up to the event. So let's say you are hosting the event on a Saturday. So, so I would suggest posting on the Wednesday three or four times, just simply about Epicure, um, post pictures of you 
cooking things with Epicure and then that just kind of gets people interested. Have a prize or two for people who are asking questions, who are liking, who, who are commenting. And then come on live on the Saturday. You could either um, go on live and just simply host your own cooking cooking class, but they can't obviously taste anything because they're not there. Or simply go on live and just sort of do what I'm doing now and just talk about Epicure. You know, talk about your products that, that you use all the time. You know, sh um, show them different, like, like um, products, um, hold up different products, show them our um, steamers, our sheet pans, you know, show them all of that. Or to take it the next level, you could have them pre-order a meal kit, like our Mexican kit, our, um, our Italian kit, have them pre-order that two weeks before, and then you can go online, they would be online at their own home, and you would tell them how to use that, that kit and what to cook. In that case, it makes sense for them all to just meet at the one place, but just maybe that's not easier for them and they would prefer it to do it in the comfort of their own home, but that's something you could do too, okay? So, so that was kind of a long explanation about, you know, what you do if people say that they don't have time, so sorry about the long one there, but that is a way around not having time, right? Okay. Um, the next one is, is if you're talking to somebody and they say to you, well, I can't eat a lot of things, like I'm on diets all the time, I'm trying to limit sugar, sodium, all of this. Well, you can tell them, well, that's what Epicure is all about. Limited salt, limited sodium. Oh, it says that my battery's almost dead. I'll have to plug this in. So I'll make this short and sweet. But, you know, just tell them things like, well, did you know we have a, a pudding um, mix that is so much healthier, you know, um, it's just so much healthier for you. Like list off things that say, well, this is limited salt, limited sodium, all of that. And they will go, oh, really? I had no idea Epicure was like that. And let them know they can host their own cooking class so that they can actually try a lot of things before they purchase it so that you can show them how to cook it and still make it taste amazing. Um, but yeah, you guys, I'm going to have to cut this short because my battery's almost dead, but those are two of the more common excuses, I would say, but I'll, I'll um, talk about more in the next video. Thank you guys so much for listening and I'll see you very, very soon.